Oh man. Oh man. Losing light quick. 8 p.m. Start the vlog. 8 p.m. today. I've got maybe 45 minutes to film something as the sun is still up. Um, still catching up from the camping trip. This is life. This is life. Oh yeah. And mending my toes. I got some situations happening on my feet right now. Basically, I'm about to lose one, two, three, four, five, five of my ten toenails. Five of ten. See ya. See ya. You're out of here. So, I'm trying to figure out what to do with my feet. Training for the 100 mile race is coming real quick. And, um, I don't know what to do about my feet. Question of the day. How do you deal with falling off toenails? Has anyone else experienced this? I know that's kind of a weird, maybe even slightly disgusting topic, but if you could help me, I'd appreciate it. All the runners out there especially. I don't know what to do. It's Monday. It's Monday. You know what that means. Comet of the week. But I'm going to break my rules a little bit. And uh, basically, it's the comment of the week is not going to come from YouTube this week. It's going to come from Strava. And <laughs> this is... This is a, the comment of the week, Adam. Adam, you get the comment of the week because you're helping me, I hope, I hope. Basically, I feel like my life sometimes is, is defined by sagas. For example, the biggest one is the Swamp Coolers saga. Well, now the watch saga. This is my running watch. You know that I love running. If your watch isn't working, it's kind of a big deal. So it's not tracking elevation gain correctly. It's, it's, it's just not doing its bit. It's not doing its bit. And the name of the watch is the Sun 2 Ambit Peak 3. So Adam saw that I posted this on Strava yesterday that my watch was not working. Thank you, Adam, for your comment. He wrote, is your watch not tracking elevation correctly? Question mark. My wife and I have the same watch. She has, she was having issues and found that if she cleaned the holes on the back of the watch, then it started working correctly again. Not sure if you tried that already. Hers happens to be muddy. Hers happened to be muddy. And once she cleared out the mud, everything worked like a charm again. Adam, thank you. If this works, you just saved me a couple hundred bucks. What? All right, let's go inside. Come on, come on. See if we can clean it. Basically, what I have set up in here is this belt which I won at the 10K a couple weeks ago, the GoPro Mountain Games, and I don't need another belt. So I was trying to figure out what could I use this belt for. Well, I came up with a little idea using these carabiners. Basically, I'm gonna hang these water bottles that I use every single day. I'm gonna hang them from here to basically dry out. I know it's kind of disgusting. There goes a the motorcycle. So basically, I've got my water bottles. We're gonna hang them from this belt just to, uh, you know, let them air out a little bit. I've got my vest here. We're gonna hang up my hat. I don't need a carabiner for that. Actually, yes I do. So, boom, just like that, and like that. I've got these, I've had these carabiners since high school and I don't know what to do with them. I just found a solution. It's my little gear rack, little gear rack in the Toyota Corolla. You do what you can. You do what you can with what you got, right? That's all I gotta say about this world. Do what you can with what you're given. Man. Easy words to say, hard, hard words to put into practice sometimes, right? Bite that humility down. Mm. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, I know I have another one. Oh yeah, it's inside. Don't mind me, just putting lotion on my toes next to a rose bush, doing manly stuff, just doing manly stuff here. <laughs> 